Hey guys, welcome to Earth Divine 360. This reading is for all of my Aquarius placements. No matter where you have Aquarius placed in your chart, this reading is for you. Um, what I was picking up, I feel like certain things are going to take off in your career this year for 2022. Um, also, something I was hearing is no stagnation. So whatever kind of stagnancy you guys were in, I'm seeing that spirit is letting me know you're going to be coming out of that. Um, things are, the momentum of your life is going to pick up tremendously. Um, I did a reading back in June or July sometime in the spring or summer and I was talking about the Aquarius really taking off and really going places in life. Um, for those of you who have been stagnant, this year is going to be a big year for you. Now, first and foremost, the spirit wants you to clear your mind. A lot of you are in your head way too much, okay? Way, 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 way too much, okay? And you need to come out of that energy and allow some healing to take place. So there's some things that you need to rid your mind of, some things that you are letting stay dormant, the, in your mind which keep manifesting and growing because you haven't gone through the healing and for those of you who are like earth divine i've been doing my healing well there's a little bit more healing that needs to take place and maybe you need to sit within yourself so you can really see what those things are that are hindering you heal yourself more yoga more meditation more prayer more affirmations more time alone okay even if it's for 10 minutes make sure you're getting that time alone because you have aloneness here on the bottom of the deck which is going to create a change for for you that is like a thunderbolt so this is going to be very 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 strong whatever it is when it comes through for you but you need that time alone if you check out my instagram earth underscore divine on instagram you will see small readings that i post on there for everybody um and that reading speaks about being alone and getting that alone time so that you can get into this dream state right here this dream state is our manifestation this is our prayers this is our will right here when we dream so you need to go within and you also need to go back within yourself and take that time to heal yourself okay what i am seeing you need to be more focused on your inner voice aquarius you might be hearing a lot of different things from a lot of different people it's time for you to really focus on your inner voice happiness within nirvana within it's time for you to be happy aquarius okay no matter where you have the placements it's very important to look at your birth chart so you can see these placements we're talking first house second house third house fourth house fifth house six seven eight nine ten and eleven and 12th house, okay? We're talking about all the houses. You need to find out where you have Aquarius place because where you have Aquarius place is where you're going to see this healing and these things manifest. I am a sun Aquarius with um, Aquarius in the third house in Gemini, okay? It's very important to look at your birth chart so you can understand. All right, so um, you may be projecting, somebody is projecting themselves off onto you and trying to make you think that it's you Aquarius that's why you need this time alone to heal yourself so you could stop allowing people to manipulate your mind I'm seeing that you are being manipulated you're being manipulated out of your greatness you are, your voice is being stifled your voice is being taken away um gifts are being suffocated and taken away because somebody is projecting their fear or something that is going on in their mind onto you. That's why you need to take this step back and heal. For some of you, this is somebody else in your life that really needs to take a step back and heal, okay, and go within and listen to their inner voice. But I'm highly feeling like this is happening to you. Now is a flowering stage for you. This is a time of pregnancy, Aquarius, okay? You have two cards indicating pregnancy here, all right? birth if this is not an actual baby this is a birth of your goals this is the birth of the dream that you've been trying to manifest for some time so something is manifesting for you and it's here okay be conscious be in the divine consciousness because something is about to birth for you and it's going to give you a reason to celebrate, a reason to be happy. For some of you, this is a baby. For some of you, this is a job promotion, marriage, all kinds of things. This happiness is something that you really wanted, Aquarius, is what I'm feeling. Something that you highly wanted is about to be birthed, okay? It took time. For some of you, it took time away from people that you love, people that you cared about, but you really needed this change to come through for you. And when it comes everybody's going to feel it. Everybody's going to know. You're not going to be able to hide this change from anyone. 
you know, just like if a woman is pregnant or if a guy is having a baby, you can't hide that for but so long. So things are going to start coming to the light for you, Aquarius, and you are going to be seen. Things about you are going to be seen, okay? Remember to follow me on Instagram, earth underscore divine on Instagram, because I give a lot of free readings, okay? So, Aquarius and this full moon and Cancer. What's going on? Aquarius and the full moon and Cancer. What is this full moon coming to bring? What did I tell you? Your manifestations. Love is bringing in love, manifestation, love right here. What else? Two cards. Pay attention to the synchronicity. So the things that you are seeing happen twice. Okay. Have more deeper compassion, okay? Your creativity is opening up. You create from, this is, your manifestations are part of your creativity. This is for personal growth. You're going to be com yeah, communicating, okay? You're going to be effectively communicating. Even though we're retrograde and Mercury right now, Mercury is all about manifestation and um, communication. What I feel like is bringing for you along with this full moon in Cancer, stuff to do with your family life, but things that are old that you were trying to manifest or you wanted um coming to fruition now you're gonna see it now okay so your love life personal growth a lot of good things coming for you aquarius let's see all right spirit what do you have for aquarius independence with the queen of swords that's you decisions with the king of swords okay three of cups again celebration with the high priestess on the bottom of the deck she is all about the cancer energy she's all about the intuition she's all about the mother matriarch followed behind her is the sun Okay, so what I'm seeing is a baby being born. I'm also seeing um, things that you wanted manifested to be that are coming to fruition now. What I am also seeing is um, things that were hidden from you are now going to be illuminated and seen. Um, something is coming to the surface. You might not like what it is, but it's all here for you to get your control back in your life, to take your power back. Okay, and for you to exit out of a situation, okay, and move forward with yourself with this Queen of Wands into your creativity, back into the magician, okay, back into being a leader where you're supposed to be. But it's going to take isolation for you to get there, it's going to take for you going within yourself to get there, okay. So, with the Queen of Swords, you're not accepting any BS this month. Okay, this full moon is having you speak up for yourself because for a lot of you, you were unable to speak up for yourself. You're going to have a clear mind and you're going to have, um, you're going to be clear, clear minded. It's just mentally, you're going to be clear. So all of this projection and all of this stuff that was happening in the mind isn't going to be happening anymore. And you're going to be able to say what you need to say to people with love. Okay, it's going to be with love. You're going to be able to celebrate. So there's going to be a reason to be happy. This Queen of Swords. Okay. I feel like you're going to be put through some tests or you have been put through some, some tests, but you came out on top is what I feel. You came out clear minded. Can you tell me more about these tests? For some of you, you might be feeling like you're lucky or luck was on your side or you were highly protected. And it's because you're knowledgeable. You're always seeking more Aquarius. You always want to know more. Okay. You're always willing to go through the change and create change in your life as well. Can you give me more for this page of pentacles? Or, and you're going to be recognized for this. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be seen. Can you tell me more about the king of swords? You have a lot of fire energy. You're speaking up for yourself and you're setting yourself free. You see that Aquarius? Freedom with the four of wands. You're coming out of whatever barrier was barricading you in. You're coming out of that. 
and people are gonna see you. You have a lot of fire right here, a lot of air and a lot of fire, okay? Somebody is going to help you with this King of Pentacles. So there's somebody very stable that's going to help you. Also, what I'm seeing is guidance because we have the King and Queen of Swords here on the board. I'm seeing guidance. You're protected, okay? And I'm seeing this as a divine masculine here to protect the divine feminine, okay? The roles could be vice versa, but this is how I'm seeing it on the table. So somebody is going to come and help you. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Somebody very stable. Could be a Leo, okay? Leo, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, all right? And this person here, this king, who is also very knowledgeable, also very financially well off, also, I feel like this person is almost like a master at life. They have mastered certain things and they're going to teach you how to take your courage, courage back, take your power back and be more courageous. Okay. Can you give me more for Aquarius spirit? Here you are, the star. This is wish fulfillment. Whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been trying to manifest is coming. On the bottom of the deck, you have vision. So wherever you saw yourself financially, physically, mentally, um, spiritually, you're going to get there. Keep pouring back into yourself. Keep loving yourself. Keep search, searching for the inner knowledge. Keep learning, Aquarius. Yeah, you have the chariot. Somebody is coming to help you. I'm going to say somebody is coming to save you, but somebody is coming to help you. Can you tell me more? Okay. You're going to have to make a decision when that time comes. For some of you, you might be uncertain about this decision. For some of you, you might be juggling two jobs or two people in a relationship. Whatever it is, it might be a juggle, okay? Give me more about this juggle. Okay, so some of you have something from the past, all right? And something from the present moment is what I'm seeing. But you have to do what makes you happy. You have to follow your emotions, not your mind. You have to follow your emotions. Okay, for some of you, you're coming out of heartache. You're coming out of the three of swords, okay? And you're going into the moon energy, which is this Cancerian energy. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, okay? Going in to follow your dreams, once again. Your vision, your dreams, that's where you're going, okay? That's what you're manifesting, all right? Remember when we first opened up, it was about the dream. See? Your dream is what you want. The dream is what you're trying to manifest, what you are, okay? So you're going to have to use your intuition. This is what they said, your inner voice. That is your intuition. You're going to have to use your intuition to decipher what, spirit? what you really want out of life what do you want what are you waiting for do you know what you want Aquarius do you know where you're trying to go because there's a journey coming up but you need to be certain about what you want like I said you're gonna have to make a choice okay and everything that's happening right now is to prepare you for what's coming so make sure you're prepared you have a lot of fire. A lot of things are going to be moving for you because fire is instant. So these things are going to be like right away. This is not something that you're going to be waiting for. This is stuff that you're going to see immediately. Okay. You have the angel of peace. So something in your life is happening to bring you into this peace. All right. With this angel of peace, peace is coming for you. You have to trust the universe. You have to trust the process as well as what I'm seeing. Taurus energy. Okay. Okay. Somebody who's a Taurus or has Taurus in their um, houses or in their chart placements, okay? So, give me more. Okay, so you have Virgo energy here. You might be reflecting. You, you're look Like I said, you're looking for something. What is this that Aquarius is looking for? You might be finding yourself talking to people, trying to... Um, Inform yourself more on something here. Get inspired. You're looking for something. You, is it support you're looking for? Are you looking for your tribe, Aquarius? Are you, is this what you're looking for? Healing. You're looking. You, I think they're looking for divine 
counterparts, not just in a relationship, just all around. You're searching for, for your tribe. Here we have the Empress. Once you go, can you tell me more about this healing? I think once you completely free yourself from whatever baggage that you were feeling, Aquarius, you're going to come into this Empress energy. Okay? You're going to come into this energy. Also, for those of you who are wishing or want a child, you're going to come into that energy as well. But I feel like you have to go through this healing. You have healing twice. So you're going to have to go through this healing phase to have like a reset. I think that's what you're going with this. You're having a reset. Okay? And blessings are coming for you, Aquarius. What are some of the jobs that Aquarius should be focusing on at this time spirit talk to your angels talk to your angels about your career your career path where you're trying to go okay don't worry ask for guidance support you got support again so some of you are looking for support Talk to your angels, ask for guidance, and you will be supported, Aquarius. Aquarius. Some of you um, are environmentalists, okay? Preserving nature, preser preserving this earth, okay? Vets, things like that. Some of you need to go back to school. Some of you need to go back to school to become doctors and teachers, okay? To teach the youth to become doctors, okay? Surgeons, brain surgeons, some of you. It doesn't matter how old you are. Go back to school. Do what you need to do for you, Aquarius. Go back to school, okay? Aquarius. Aquarius, this means for those who are going to need this reading the most, spirit. Those who are going to need this reading the most. Okay, entering a new cycle. And you're going to have a lot of options when you come out of this old cycle that you were in. You're coming into a new cycle. Some of you dealing with a Scorpio. Or have Scorpio placements in your chart. Tell me more. Okay, back to the juggling, all right? All right, something, you're, you're gonna have a breakthrough and you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna realize how to come out of this cycle, whatever this cycle is, okay? Because something is driving you crazy, all right? Keeping you up in your head or, you know, somebody is driving you crazy. Can you tell me more, Spirit? Okay, you're coming out of this feeling, this overwhelmed feeling. Okay, this, this, this always fighting, when do I get a break kind of feeling. It's like you're juggling more than one thing. You're going to have to put something down. You have a lot of options and there's more than just what you have. You have more options than that. So for some of you, um, somebody is going to be coming back around to have a deeper commitment with you. They're going to be apologizing to you about something, Taurus energy. Um, they're going to be apologizing. Somebody has a hard time apologizing, but somebody is seeking higher counsel, whether if they're going to church or going to see a priest or a counselor. Can you tell me more about this situation here for Aquarius? Yeah, somebody was in this energy here. I feel like somebody feels this way about you or you're you, both people feeling the same way here. A couple of people involved in this situation, fire signs. I'm also getting um, earth signs, definitely a Leo for sure. Um, and we have Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo energy. Okay. But somebody, t give me more about the five of cups for the reasoning why this person is like this. 
Um, tell me more. Because they're coming to you with an offer, Aquarius. Something in this physical world, okay? Something physical that they're trying to give you. Something earthly. They want a new, like another chance with you is what I'm seeing. Ooh, one more Aquarius. There's Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody feels like you're the one for them, Twin Flame. Okay, could have met them on the job, working together, something where somebody was working, all right? Um, but they are saddened. By, well, what brought them to this Five of Cups here, Spirit? What made them come into this Five of Cups? How did that happen? How did the Five of Cups happen, Spirit? What happened? Somebody was keeping a secret okay something about a child or wanting children with you having children with you um somebody was being sneaky about something they weren't being completely honest about something give me more spirit please okay they're struggling with a lot okay they're battling ugh, they're battling a lot of different things okay hmm hmm i almost feel like they could act like two different people. Okay. Can you give me more about what this battle is consisting of, Spirit? What is this? They, I feel like they have trouble um, confessing and admitting their feelings to you. Pisces energy here, Gemini energy here, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn energy, okay? But this person, Aries energy, this person has a hard time expressing how they feel. And now they feel bad about that. And they're trying to come back around to you. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What is this offer? Tell me again, please. Yeah, they're thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. They have these memories about you with the Six of Cups, okay? Um... Can you give me more about this offer with the Six of Cups? Give me more about this offer with the Six of Cups. Well, I feel like there's more than just two people involved in this situation, but they want to be back with you. They want to come back to you. They want to set things right with you. Um, they want to come out of a situation that they were in with other people, which it could have been conflicting, but they still see you as a two of cups, soulmate type energy. They want to get married to you. Give me more about this connection and then I'm going to go to the love oracles, love angels. Tell me more about this four of wands. Tell me more about the four of wands for Aquarius. Tell me more about the four of wands for Aquarius, please, spirit. Four of wands for Aquarius. Four of Wands for Aquarius. Thank you. Yep. You're it. You are it for this person. Like, there's nobody else that they'd rather be with, Aquarius, but you. Even though they don't express that to you. They don't tell you that because they have a hard time really expressing themselves. They have a hard time saying what's on their heart and their mind. But they will be coming to you with something. Mommy, I don't want 